Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. This is going to be just a little supplement to the video I did on installing the number two control arms on a Lexus IS300. And I'm doing the passenger side now, the right side, and I still have that same issue that I had before that the suspension is loaded, it's up on ramps but I cannot get the alignment between where it goes on that pin, the body pin, uh, the frame pin, and here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that screw first, then force it onto the frame pin, then get this other screw. But this little tip that I'm showing you now is take the old bolts, and you know you're going to put some Loctite on them anyway. Loctite is kind of like grease until it hardens up. Take the old bolts and run them through this new part first because that is going to make it easier for you when you have it in place and you try to thread that bolt in there. So I'm just going to take my my air gun and I'm going to run it in about an inch and then run it out about an inch. So that's this is just a supplementary tip on the number two control arm install okay okay so this is the supplement like I said and this is the grand finale of how I did it all right uh, didn't even have to just put the put the car up on ramps I did not have to jack up anything with a floor jack so here it is first leave leave this undone and leave it over here in this area see there's there's a uh, it's gonna be like right up here where my hand is and you're gonna have to force it back into position but anyway leave it loose up there stick the other end into where it goes on the number one control arm this is the number one control arm so stick it in there get this bolt first should be pretty easy and remember I told you to chase the threads first get this one first run it up pretty tight not no torque or anything but more than finger tight tighten uh, tighten it up all the way and then back it off like about six turns all right then get this you'll have to use a little pry bar I pried here and pry it over in that well I pried over here actually pry it over in that direction you got your you're gonna have your block here to give you space space on this just put a block in there to get it down I also disconnected the two center bolts here I did not take the whole thing off because you don't really have to take off one time at a side one side at a time so this is blocked down to give you space this gets pried over you get it started it's going to be in a very good position because this is holding it in the right position this right here is holding it in the right position so you get it started up there about halfway then hammer on it when you're hammering on it you're just bending this bushing all right you're not really bending metal or anything you're just bending the angle of this bushing so hammer it up there run it up tight with this and then again uh, let's see how do I do this this tight this tight and then I just kind of loosen this up with a with a hand wrench then I, then you gotta play with this one play with it please don't cross thread it you, you take a little up let a little down move it around a little bit put some more Loctite on there which acts as a grease I told you keep playing with this until you get it going now when you get it going it's gonna go in kinda hard but you guys and gals have to know the difference between going in hard threaded and cross threaded cross threaded it just like stops and you know you screwed up and you cross threaded it this just keeps going hard but the same steady pressure same hard turn turn it turn it turn it turn it till you get it up there then you got it you got it and you got it 
that's it. Then remember to put your two back here. I think they're 14 millimeters and the two 14 millimeters back there. Easy peasy. So give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. This is the passenger side. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. And uh, be safe. See you later, guys and gals. Froggy out. Bye-bye.